Alright, so we are at the police station where the witness uh, hopefully is because she's trying to look for the book that her mother was writing about the killer. Strange coming back here now, like this. A place I used as a crutch to get through the tough times when I found myself suddenly alone again. Funny how history repeats itself. Not tonight. And I was the first time he used a gun. This guy relies on close proximity. So remember, if you approach him, it gives him power. But, sir, if we can't approach him, how do we arrest him? Remember your training. He's a wanted cop killer now. You can shoot him on sight. Bell Killer War. Let's see if there's any new leads to the murder case. Okay, so there's 11 clues here. Wow. The research the bell symbol. Does he leave a symbol when he kills people? Maybe he does. Yeah, he does on the on the skin of people. Looks like he carves a bell. The symbol the bell kill leaves on his murder scenes. What does a bell have to do with murders? Okay. So he's killed quite a lot of people. Look at those black markers on the map. That's all the people he's killed. And there's no common link. They're all random killings by the looks of it. They probably are linked in some way though. These are the victims. They're young women with no signs of sexual assault. So he only killed me because I intervened. Like he, 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 uh, looks like he targets young women and doesn't rape them missing persons okay so joy i think is the younger girl cassandra's the mom they're both seen as missing don't be a poltergeist with that I wish i could say that's the weirdest thing i saw oh i've unveiled this that's cool Cause death, strangulation. Okay, so he strangles people. It's the suspect. So he's white with blue eyes. He's always in a masked hood. He's six foot two. Okay, what was that all about? Who's this guy? We can influence him. There's two more clues to find before we can we want to influence, so there's a poltergeist thing here. Okay, that's a little bit creepy. I just made that phone ring and my house phone downstairs is ringing as well. I'm scared. <laughs> no, sir. I'd be very interested to know that myself. No. No suspects at this point, sir. This boils down to sloppy leadership, Lieutenant. Whoever made the call for Ronan to go in alone, it's on you. We lose one of our own tonight, and you have no suspects and no leads? Look, Captain, he wore gloves and apparently didn't touch anything in the apartment other than the knob on the front door. He didn't leave prints, fibers, or anything else traceable. And if you think I don't want this guy to pay more than you, you are sadly mistaken. Watch your tone, Rex. Everyone knows he was your brother-in-law, so you don't need to remind us. But you lose your cool again, and more of your own will join Ronan. You understand me? You find this guy, or a clue that leads to his doorstep. Now! That's an order. Yeah, understood. That's an order. It's like, what else are they doing? Okay, yeah, so I think there's one more. Did we get a clue from that? I don't even know if we did. Is there anything outside of this room? Now the investigation ends when we leave, so it's all in here. We can look at, we can peek at this guy's thing. Any new leads in my case? Body arrived at the morgue. Cause of death pending autopsy. 
Blue only forensics. No fibers, no suspect blood, DNA, no prints left at the scene. What's the newest lead? My my body's at the morgue. The cause of death is unknown still. I think that might be the the new lead, because There's no prints or anything that so that's that's not a lead. My body must have arrived here already. If it's in the morgue, they're probably getting ready for my autopsy. That's surreal. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's wrong. So that gives me no inf new information. So the new information is that there's no fibers or anything. Yep. So the, <laughs> the new lead is that the police didn't find the lead. <laughs> That's ridiculous. One of the best sightings of the Bell Killer, and they didn't find any traceable evidence or leads. Yeah, because the person who sat saw them is dead. Me. Uh, can we see what this guy's thinking? Hasn't screwed up yet, but he will. Okay. Cops gotta stick together. Cops gotta stick together. I don't think there's anything else worthy that we can look at. We've done everything. It's only really this guy. Okay. What would make him remember what he should be doing? <laughs> um, what should he be doing on the computer that he's got access to? The links between the murders, this, the crime scene signature. Maybe if he looks up the connection for the symbol, the crime scene signature, but the kind of similar things, and then they got the pattern of victim deaths. It could be anything, really. What would make him think? I don't know what he was meant to be doing, so. We've got to pick any. Pick one of the few that I think it might be. The symbol. Okay. Is this connected to the Bell Killer symbol? What's wrong? What was he asked to do? Did he say earlier what he was asked to do? I didn't hear. Suspects. The police thinks the bell killer has blue eyes. I don't know if that's true or not. I didn't get a good look at his face when I confronted him. That's wrong. I don't... How am I... I need to think of memory. Like, my own personal memory. What did he... <laughs> I don't remember anyone telling them to do something. No. Oh, God. Yeah, missing person, okay. We gotta find that info about the missing tenant. Okay, so he's updated the file on the missing tenant, so I have information that's useful. Oh, they haven't found that from there, have they? Let's peek at it then. So, Cassandra Foster, resident of the Regal Apartments, professional physi f psychic medium and criminal profiler, occasionally Occasional consult consultant for the Salem Police Department. Last seen by neighbours two weeks ago. No criminal record. And then the girl. A legal guardian is her mother. Whereabouts of her father are unknown. Dropped out of Salem school systems two years ago. Went away from home. Has a mer It's not really... What did he update about the missing tenants? So which one did he update? The top one or the bottom one? The mum or the daughter? So number of missing victims. She's in custody. That's what he's updated then, isn't it? She's been caught. I didn't know that. Okay. So she's been caught. <laughs> Should see if there are any new leads in my murder case, so to conclude the investigation. I think I've learned all I can here. I better go find that witness. 
Okay, so the girl now is in a cell. She must have got caught trying to find the um just cause two. Huh. What's this? Okay, it's crisps. Okay, where's the where's the holding cells? What's this over here? Hey, Baxter. You still relying on that wizard lady? You know I ain't into all that spiritual crap. But she's onto something. Results are results. You find a more reliable source, you let me know. Hmm. Okay, so we was interviewing the, the mother. The guy who tried on my hat once I was dead. That's just a gimmick, innit? There's no reason to do that. <laughs> Collectibles everywhere. It's insane. Anyone doing a poo? Hello? Nope. <laughs> What's he playing? Is that a game? He's playing Deus Ex. You zoom in. Yeah, hey, but he's on the pause menu. <laughs> this guy's playing it as well. Is this what everyone's doing in the office? Everyone's just playing Deus Ex? Robinson's got the girl in the room right now. Think she knows anything? I will find okay, out. Okay, so she's being interviewed he's now. But he's, gotta let us in. he's playing as well. Well, that guy's actually doing some work. I'd just be after revenge. Yeah, okay. There's coffee machines everywhere. All these poltergeist things, it is kind of... No reason to press them. Alright, okay. First floor, morgue officers. That's where my body is. Second floor, detective officers. There's a holding cell here. Whoa. That guy's killed himself. Do I want to talk to him? I don't want to start a side mission. Sleep for now. Can we walk through the wall past that demon thing? Yep. I've got to get out of here. There's a ghost right over there in that cell. So I've been in the cell before. If only I could tell my younger self what I would become. How is... How's he been a detective? With that? <laughs> How's he been a detective when he's got a criminal record? I thought you had to have a clean sheet if, if you could work with the police. Can they really not see this? See what? Okay, so it's the girl here somewhere being interviewed. That's my body there. <laughs> Who's this? I recognise her. Is that his wife? Uh, mind if I ask what happened? What does it look like? I died. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I can see that. I meant, how did you die? Autopsies aren't this thorough when the cause of death is cut and dry. I don't know. A bunch of pills. Some were sleeping pills. It was supposed to be peaceful. I didn't know that you... wake up. What am I supposed to do now? I wish I knew, kid. I'll let you know if I figure it out myself. So she killed herself. Isn't a spiderweb tattoo usually a symbol for time spent in prison? Why would this tattoo have two spiders in the lab? There's no tattoo wrong. Why is the old guy so harsh? Okay, so my body is kind of like not important really, you know, so I've moved on from there. Well, my only concern is how it happened. I mean, who the guy is. Oh god, more different collectibles. Oh my god. Alright, so the, this is the morgue. So the girl's not here, she's in the holding cells. like, Or maybe, you know, like an interview room. Let's we'll get past this dark bit. There we go. These are interview rooms, aren't they? Holding area. There she is. 
Each one of these keys is a felony. Each one. You get that, right? No? All right, it's your funeral. Sit tight, relax. You're gonna be here for a while. Fuck! All right, look. Look, I might be able to help you. Is your mom's book from the Bell Killer case here? Yes, and it would probably help me find my mom, but as I told you before, you're dead. How can you possibly help me? Hey, I know this place better than you. Now, who did your mom work with here? Who? I don't know. She just called him Bastard. Baxter. <laughs> All right. His office was on the second floor. You stick with me, I'll get you there. Let's go. Go where? They're watching. Not for long. Can I interfere with the camera? Yep. <laughs> Just shut it down. So, can, so I've got a guy there out, haven't I? By distracting people probably with the poltergeist stuff. That's why there's so many poltergeist stuff to distract people. Follow my lead. I'll get you past these cops and to the door on the other side. Piece of cake. Yeah. Last time you got caught, Magellan. Stay low or they'll see you. Where did she go? Oh, there she's there. There's a cop right there. No more dead cops, please. Okay, so I need to get him. Which way is she going to go? Looks like she probably might go this way. There's less cops this way. So I need to distract him. Can I distract him with the coffee machine? Yep. Don't you guys mess with this. Okay, so where's she going now? She's going behind this desk. I can distract him with this phone, this printer. Time to move, girl. Look the way I can just walk around freely, you know. I'm gonna worry about not getting spotted. It's all down to the computer AI. AI. All right, so which way is she going? She's not going that way. It's a dead end. So she's going over here. There's no one watching. So I need to distract this guy, do I? I don't think I... I think maybe if I just do this, print the printer with the phone. Who does that... does that get anyone's attention? No, it doesn't. What was that, someone said? This guy. You need to hurry. He just looked right at her. Okay, so she's gonna go through these doors. Okay, so... I need to possess her, I think, to get past this. Nice job, kid. We're almost there. I don't need a cheerleader. Hey, I got us this far, didn't I? Got yourself killed, Mr. Bullet Holes. Uh, hey, kid. I these things. Uh, I, I can't get across there. You're going to have to help me. Well, can't you just fly over it? Fly? Or? I'm a ghost, not a plane, all right? <laughs> and look, you need me to tell you which office is his. Duh. I'm gonna possess you. Don't read any of my thoughts or, or think anything creepy. Oh, this doesn't make us even. Okay, I mean, I don't have an option to possess or e eavesdrop or anything. I could influence it to be really nice to me. That'd be okay, good. Man, get out. Okay, so Baxter's office is just here, it seems. So I need to, to two cops. Help the witness get past the cops. There's two cops labelled. So it's always the quiet ones that turn out to be killers. Okay, so I can distract these guys maybe with these this stuff. Your phone's ringing. Okay, that's cop one. Let's lure him away, maybe with different stuff. That's not working. Don't want to get involved in this homicide stuff. Okay, so he's on that one now. Is he gonna? He's gonna walk back. I think I need to do like a, a chain chain of things to make them move away. 
So I'll do this first to get this cop. And then when he gets here, maybe do his phone. Can I turn this off? How do I move these guys? Speed up, girl. Okay, so they can she can go now. Quick. Nice one. He's looking right out of there. The AI in this game is kind of like so scripted, it doesn't, it doesn't go off track, you know? Once you started moving, it's uh, the job's, job's done. Okay. Where's Baxter's office then? <laughs> like, I'm telling you, I know where Baxter's office was, then I want like, a helper when I really don't even know myself. Okay. So we've got to find the right office. There's a meeting room. That's my office. I'm O'Connor, Rodin O'Connor. What have we got here? Is it gun? How many collectibles are there? I've been getting these trophies popping up all the time. Just every time I pick stuff up. Like, another gun here. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna start click picking things up now because it's gonna be boring to watch, you know, and it's not I'm not even paying attention to it. So let's find Baxter's office. Meeting room. There's Baxter's office. Got the book. The form of each murder changes. The inner zeal is the same. This is why the killings seem random unrelated. But the police can't see these connections. Except Officer Baxter. I can't say I trust him. But he's my only chance. Okay, so let's go back to the girl. Hey. It's close. Where is everybody? Detectives usually work the day shift. Okay, but which office is Baxter's? It's in the back hallway to the right. Okay. This is his brother in law's office. I've just been to Baxter's office, so I have to go find his office, come back, tell here, then go back to it again. Are you trying to get caught? You're about as stealthy as a tornado. Ugh, the desk was like that when we got here. Yeah, I know. How many places can you hide a book in one tiny little room? Who knows? What is making those sounds? Criminal record, confidential. There's a found sound of a camera, so a mugshot. My mugshot, I thought Rex suppressed this. Looks like someone was hiding your real rap sheet. Now I have proof. So that's how he got in the police force. His brother in law covered him. That blackmail file against me. Sure, take your time. No rush, I'm sure that book will find itself. All right, just calm down a second here. Cops don't hide things in plain sight. Just need to figure this out. You have one new message. Didn't we just find the book? Isn't that on the floor? Is that like a something else? Alright, there's, there's another investigation in this room now, so before we do this, I'm gonna cut this part here. Uh, and in future parts, guys, I'm gonna um, avoid picking up all the collectibles and stuff and just stick to the main story because it's getting a bit distracting now. I was just gonna pick things up as I've seen them, but there's far too many things, so yeah. Alright, see you later, guys.